I'm back once again with another video and as you can see today I'm sitting right here with uh, our one of our queen yeah queen and as I always say this is how we the Africans we live this is how uh, we live our, our life and we respect our queen and our kings and the queens so as you can see this is how our queens we dress and today is uh, that we are paying a homage do me a favor by subscribing to my channel after subscribing like the video and share to other people as well so for me not to waste my time i would like her to mention her name for us then I take it from man please good afternoon good afternoon your prince how are you i'm fine you i'm also fine and yeah. um, first of all we not we want to know your name uh, our viewers want to know your name and the reason why you are here purposely for the chief okay. that passed on okay. Okay. my name is nana ojidom i'm at the first nana ojidom i'm at the first Okay. It's my traditional council. I'm a tribal chief. I'm a woman, but I'm a chief. Okay. And I represent the fantis. So all the fantis on Tema land and the Achi okay. on behalf of the Tema traditional council. Okay. But when you go to Gomua, I'm also a chief from one of the villages. I'm another divisional chief at uh, the traditional council, Gomua traditional council. So I'm a female, but I'm a chief. Like you said, when our kings pass away, we come to pay homage, traditionally dress and then come to home. So that is why I am here, dress in red. We've been here already to do all things that the parties have to represent. And today too we are here to start to wrap up things for tomorrow. So I'm here because of the passing away of our king. Me, Osonga, Ajinika, Okay, so if I may ask, Currently, are you stay in uh, here in a uh, gal uh, Tema here, or you you live at uh, Fanti? Currently, I stay in Tema. Tema. Yeah. Okay. And I'm hoping an alternative dispute resolution center where we solve problems. Okay. Traditionally, and then part of the judicial system. Okay. I don't know whether you know it. We call it ADR. ADR. Yeah. It's alternative dispute resolution. Okay. So we attach our traditions to it. Like when somebody passes away, how should the person in first? Okay. Uh, the widow will write, suppose husband died, and then they go there to suck the woman from the house, and then they take over, more treat the women, and solve all those problems under tradition okay. in our setup. Okay. Mom, I, I have questions that I want to ask. So I know based on uh, 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 busy, uh, a lot of people. Uh, now a lot of people may say uh, when it comes to chief dances, a lot of people tag it as uh, worshiping of idols and all that. Uh, it's like now currently we Ghanaians, especially the youth, we are throwing our uh, custom, what we, our ancestors established. Yes, we are throwing those things away and adopting different uh, culture and different. Uh, lifestyle. lifestyle yeah. So I want you to, you know, uh, help us with that. When it comes to chief dances, is it uh, combined with? Or yes, like okay. people call it, uh, is it uh, juju and fetish? Okay. Can you uh, educate okay. us? Okay. What I will talk about is chief dancing is leadership. All the communities have their leaders. People came to settle through war. And so they have their kings leading them. They have their queen. But it's a setup. Like you have your minister of defense and all that. So Chidom Hine, all Hine, all that. Now, coming to the fetish aspect of it, everybody has a way of worship. Okay. So it doesn't come with the chieftaincy. It's part of the governance. Okay. So when you go to the palace, we have the, uh, the fetish aspect. And when I say fetish, it looks bad. The, the prayer aspect. So okay. the priest will come to pray. 
pray that there must be good things in town and bad things go away. If there's sickness, they cleanse the town and all that. Until the whites brought in certain things that we adopted, that's what we used to do. Now they pray through the smaller gods to our creator. That's what we have trade here for. Or Katechi and all that. We all believe in the Greek mind. But we then were not practicing through Jesus Christ. It was through the smaller ones. So okay. when civilization came into Ghana, we started realizing that, oh, we can do it because with the gods and other things, we are all creative beings for the Creator. But there's somebody who brought remission. Okay. So we don't have to sacrifice anything again. Okay. Somebody has already shared the blood. Okay. So the other aspect of it that you see that they do is prayer. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can't stop somebody. Hey, God told Abraham to leave his fathers and come and follow him. People mm. are still practicing um, other worship. You can't stop them. But chief tense is different from the prayers or any purchase thing. Okay. Chief tense is leadership. So when you have a story in your home and he asks you to come and chief, do it. You guide people through culture. The culture we have is in diverse ways. How you have to name your child. Where do you come from? What language do you speak? When they greet you, how should they respond about you? So when you greet them, you have to go down because they are warriors. They fought for their land. And all those things are part of our chief tense sector. That's why we have festivals. Okay. So when things happen this way, the people come, the youth come, they ask us, why do you put on red? Why do you have to put on black? We don't just dress. Okay. In the, in the African or Ghanaian setup, you don't just dress. If your jeans dress is dressing. Okay. But when you are intending to wear black, somebody had a be and somebody passed away, and all that. So we have a very beautiful culture that we have to tap into it and then teach our people. That is why I adopted the idea. People come, and I tell them when you get married, you and your wife, what do you have to plan? Earlier on, the women will sit at home and the man takes care of everything. And so going to the court where he doesn't take care of his children, blah, 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 so they should. But now the woman brings, the man brings, and together. And it's become a very nice culture in Ghana. So chief tendency is different from Okay. And the fact is prayer and the thing is speak. They truly have their way of worship. You can stop them. Okay. We are part of creation. Okay. My last question. Uh, what are some of the things that is mixing in our Ghanaian uh, society that you wish those things would be? Yes. Identity. We have many tribes. So I should tell where you come from. The raster hair that we do, in our Ghanaian setup, if your mother could not have the natural pregnancy, he goes to somewhere to pray. Okay. And the girls will say, I'll give you a child. But you don't touch the hair. Okay. Unless you come and pay or thank me before you can touch the hair. So anybody you see him with person person means he was going to borrow from a shrine. So until you go and pay those rituals that you have to pay, you can't touch the hair. But now it's in our culture. So sometimes when I see the people, I don't know whether the difference between whether he was bold or his fashion is the same breathing thing. Yeah. The second aspect of it is we don't tag ourselves with the earrings because it's not our culture. As soon as you do that, you know maybe you are a slave and they have to identify you and that. So in our culture, those bold things are not for us. So then that hairdo, anyway, sometimes you see it's very small and khaki, so it's like it's fashion. But naturally, in our, we, we are lost. We must be know that this person is a Ghanaian. He comes from the Ever tribe. He comes from the Northern tribe. He comes from this, from the way you greet. People from the North, when they greet, they go down. Yes. So you could tell where he comes from. Yeah. The fancy, some of them go down, some of them start the guy and stuff. Especially when you, you need to see a chief or a queen mother, a traditional leader, you have to bow. Not because you are worshipping, yes. but giving him the reverence that is representing a community. So our identity is missing. The way we speak, we get annoyed. We have a way of expressing our pain, but we don't insult. That's one thing about That's one thing that's missing in the youth. We don't have to insult. 
but you could speak your mind, add beauty to the community, so we can shape our world. The world is getting closer, but we still have identities. Okay. So it's the identity, I've touched a few, but you could tell that many things are missing. And I'm telling the youth that, I'm not saying they shouldn't be in fashion, it's nice, but when it's a taboo to your tribe, don't do it. Okay, thank you. My last question you talk about, so I want to ask that question. Now about earring being uh, a slave and those mm. stuffs. A uh, lot of people, when you tell them, normally we we uh, use the queen mothers, for example, when we are talking to other people, we use the queen mothers for example that they should look at the queen mothers. They don't do their hair, they don't put on earring. Mm. That shows that they are rare uh, queens. But anybody that wear earring mm. is a slave. That's mm. what we normally say. But now a lot of people will say that without wearing the earring, mm. we will not identify that we are a, 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 a female or a male. That's why they put on the earring. Okay. Mm. Uh, then let me straighten that up. We, we, we wear our female children earrings. That is part of our culture. But with the male, I'm talking about the earrings. Okay, okay, that okay. The male puts okay, on. okay. Yeah. So in the Ghanaian setup, female children have earrings. Okay. So when the person grows and doesn't want to wear it, it's okay. Okay. The queen mothers, they don't want us to wear. You cut your hair short. Ident identify yourself. Okay. So when somebody sees you, you will not mistake you to be something. You okay. cannot be going around with this kind of person. So the earrings of the male. And that braids that they put on, which in our culture is a bold thing because when you put on rear earrings and those braids, it means that you are tied to a shrine which which your rights has not been paid. Okay. And some of them put that small white sedia around it. They are all traditions. You cannot just put that thing in your head. So we are missing it. And people come to us to learn. So you, the Ghanaian, must know the difference between them. So the men, the earrings, is not our culture. Okay. With the braids hanging more, it's not our culture. Okay. You can have every fashion. I'm not saying it shouldn't be. But since there is that thing there, the people still go and plead for the gods to give them children. That is what we can identify. That he, his rights has not been paid. So I'm talking about the men. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, guys, <laughs> we have learned a lot over here. Mom, before we leave, I want you to give us your final word. Your final word in uh, either Ga or Fanti. Then you mention your name once again. If you have, let's say, telephone number that people who are facing challenges in marriages and all that, that they want to, you know, contact and talk to either the the person that the, the right food person to uh, for them to have their problems solved, okay. you can just put the number out there for us. Okay. Okay. As I'm speaking, I'm a mediator of Ojidom Alternative Dispute Resolution. I settle disputes, prepare people for divorces. If they have some settlements that they have to agree on, we do that. Then they can start for them to do the divorce at the court. If you want any traditional um, rights being uh, discussed, maybe they are bullying you with other things, you come to my office at Tema Community One, Site 10. You see Ojidom Alternative Dispute Resolution Office. All traditions of Ghana land. I do it there. We learn, we teach ourselves how to name your children, how to go about your daily lives. I'm not saying you're not going to have a problem, but at least we can shape, I can help you shape all that. And you can reach me on number 0543 57 
0543574845. Again, 0543574845. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you very much for your speech. <laughs> Thank you so I'm much. So, so guys, um, this is he our Queen Mother. Okay, Narrowed this is uh, our Queen, mm -hmm. our King here. Yeah. Yeah, our king of Fanti. From Fanti. Yeah, yeah. from Fanti. Yeah. Uh, we'd like to thank them so much for a great wisdom that they, are imp they impart to us this afternoon. We will come to them to you know, teach us more because we, the youth, we have lost. So we need them to you know, educate us and put us at the right path so that we will also grow like the way they have grown old. Thank you very much for watching SKM Media. God bless you for watching. Bye-bye.